Transic 1 is located on the east of Taihu Lake Shore and at the beginning of Taipu Canal. This area is very interesting and representative of three main features. It's structured by a very ancient drainage system known as Longgang, which is found all around Taihu Lake. It's also densely occupied by old vernacular Lina village that need to be regenerated. Since 10 years, the lake shore has been undergoing profound transformation as part of Taihu New Town project. The satellite image shows that the site is divided into the north part and the south part by Taipu Canal. The landscape structure shows two main types of patterns, the radiant cam structure of Logang around the lake and the more circular type of polder as we see. The older system of small roads follow the landscape structure. The more recent ones, however, have introduced a totally different logic, which tends to break the cohesion of the landscape and fragment it into less integrated enclaves. The settlements are strongly linked into the landscape structure, with parallel village around the lake and more organic ones. Industries have developed along the roads at the back of the Logang village. Since recently, a new town center is developing along the canal with high-rise buildings but no clear relationship to Taipu Canal. A large number of hydrophilic nature spaces New town center and industry, villages surrounded by water, Taihu Lake Mini Camp, the large open air space regularly hosting large scale music and culture events, highways that cut the site, all together form the local characteristics. In terms of historical evolution, the area has been marked by profound transformation due to infrastructure change. In the early age, the village mainly developed along Taihu Lake and the Logan Polder system. By 1966, the construction of the Taipu Canal divided the site into two parts and transferred the soil from the canal to the Taihu Lake shore, which greatly changed the appearance of the terrain. By 2000, urban growth has mainly consolidated the existing settlement clusters. By 2020, the newer settlements are moving away from the lake and the inland, including the new town center that is located along Taipu Canal. Besides, the highway caused a new segment to the site. The existing satellite picture shows that Transect 1 is consisting of two residential clusters and several nature villages. According to Wujiang Town and Village Layout Planning and Wujiang District Optimized Planning from 2014 to 2013, areas along Thai Lake will be developed into a linear park and most of the settlements will be removed. Considering the historical and cultural value of the Logan system, preserving and integrating this area as heritage in the linear park may improve this place to become more livable and attractive. The rest of the area will be urban reserve line. The new development should be concentrated in the town center. Meanwhile, most of the nature villages will be preserved. Based on the existing plans and visions, we came up with several questions to help us have better understanding about the site. In order to meet the above challenge, we have proposed two strategies. Strategy number one, new Logang. How ancient Logang system could be reorganized in the future? In response to the current complex situation, firstly, make those interstitial open spaces accessible to both the Lakeshore Park and to Taipu Canal Front. Secondly, be optimized as interstitial collective gardens to increase the living condition of the dense villages and support community life. Then, make a linear and transversal connection as the framework of future densification. For the linear connection, continue to follow the system of Logang. Plant trees in the interstitial open spaces to strengthen the radial characteristics. It's also possible to convert this into landscape linear wetlands that can treat naturally surface water before it drowns into the lake. Then we selected one by one kilometer square around Taihu Dam as the desired design area. Taipu Dam Bridge not only connects the land between north and south, but also forms a new recreation land and a new landmark. Vacant land among villages could be transformed into new public spaces, such as outdoor playgrounds for children, and also the design of collectively distributed gardens allowed residents to create green lifestyle and enjoy nature. 
so the logan system could be revived. Strategy number two: fishnet villages. The bottom area is village clusters separated by highway and small lakes. Those villages are developed linearly along the dike, enclosing the powder. And that together, they form a continuous mesh intercut network that is reminiscent of a fishnet village. The presence of water, the main event space, but also spatial and picturesque quality of the villages offer possibilities for ecotourism and slow tourism. To enhance the relationship of each cluster, which is small lake, as a concentration of local centralities, this can be achieved by reclaiming and requalifying the lakefront intermediate space into public space. To interconnect the villages physically and visually by punctuating or marking them with higher elements, operating as landmarks, make these landmarks also usable as observation tower from which one can enjoy the view. On the water landscape of lakes, powder and pond, and one one by one kilometer site will be chosen as pilot area. On the pilot area, three spaces within the water would be developed as a public waterfront, which could be used for sports or events, and two watch towers would take place near it to provide a bird eye view. Also, strengthen the interaction between each village. In response to the landscape difference, we proposed two design strategies, which combine north and south parts and echo each other, highlight the characteristic of the site, and improve the connectivity of two places. Get back to Excel scale. At the starting point of Taipu River, the villages intersect one shares a lot of commons with the villages along the Taipu River. The strategies for transect one could be applied to similar place in the Taipu River basin. Which could contribute to improve the integrity of the whole region in the future. Thanks for watching.